So which is it, a boom or a bust? You know what? I think that's an entire, entirely false dichotomy. The truth is we're muddling along. The overseas markets are definitely weakening. We know that because Chuck Robbins, CEO of Cisco, told us this very morning, pointing out that July saw some cracks in the economy. But Walmart, the biggest retailer in America, told us that business is strong and the consumer is very healthy. House of pleasure. Trump stock. The problem is there's always a contrary view. Yesterday, Macy's told a woeful story, truly dispiriting. I think Walmart's the better tell. Obviously, it's like a huge versus Macy's. But, you know, look, you're getting some mixed signals. And every day, it seems to be a new scare. And today, a financial researcher working at the BS of a short seller, no less, took on General Electric's accounting, claiming that G's headed for bankruptcy. This is the same analyst who correctly spotted that Bernie Madoff was a fraud well before his hedge fund blew up. So he's got the, uh, let's say, gravitas. Now, he says G has lied about the exposure to these hard-to-value long-term care contracts. CEO Larry Culp, who just bought a ton of stock, he really disagreed, but stock got hammered anyway. Any day, some, any, any day someone with an ounce of credibility uh, comes a, 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 and claims that an American icon is committed fraud, well, that's going to frighten people. This stock was down the most in 11 years, single day. Look, I have frequently criticized GE for the way it accounted for long-term care policies, but I'm confident that Culp has taken aggressive steps to be more transparent and reserve enough money to cover the costs. However, as I have told GE management many times and told you, with long-term care policies, you can never reserve too much, which is why the criticism resonated. It always will. That's why the stock went down 11%. Still, Culp's accusing the guy of market manipulation, and, and can you blame him? Can you blame him? Unfortunately, this issue isn't going to go away anytime soon, and the false dichotomy isn't either, which is why the stocks that do well in recession are now rallying. Kimberly Clark's that stock is, without even doing good numbers, the stock's up 25 straight points, Procter & Gamble. Meanwhile, the big techs and the industrials are getting hit. Too much exposure to the global economy. Bottom line, as long as Treasury yields keep plummeting, investors will remain unsure of themselves. At least today, they finally found some stocks to buy along with bonds. It's just that they're the wrong stocks, the recession stocks, not the kind of leaders we want to get behind. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.